My name is Raleigh Carter and I'm just pumping out as much content as I possibly can for you gymnastics business owners because I want to get everything inside my head out so that I can help you as much as possible. Avoid all the pitfalls, the stress, the anxiety, the frustration, the depression, the burnout that I have experienced over 20 plus years of being in the industry. So let's get at it. All right, you're a business owner. Now, I feel like the understanding of what a business is is misunderstood significantly across all the internet in all video platforms, et cetera, et cetera. And here's why. Most people approach business as if you're selling a product or a service. And then in the process of selling that product or service, you're supposed to find a pain point for the customer, like I would find a pain point for you, and then say, hey, buy my product. And so you're saying, okay, these shoes will, um, they solve your, your feet. You know, they're in constant pain, they hurt when you stand, they hurt when you walk, and now these new shoes are gonna solve the pain in your feet. So my shoes are gonna solve a pain point. Oh, you wanna jump higher? Wear these shoes. Oh, you wanna run faster? Wear these shoes. I'm solving a pain point, right? And so, Business is often looked at as if we're solving some form of a problem and we're providing a solution. Except the problem we are solving is wrong. It's wrong, it's wrong. It's just a layer of information. It's not the actual problem. The actual problem we are solving is, can be boiled down into very few limited categories. And realistically, like, there's almost probably, I would say almost two main categories that you're really solving overall in the grand scheme of things because all humans seem to have their problems and conflicts boiled down, narrowed down into these two main categories. And the two main categories are this, depression and anxiety. Those are your two main problems, okay? You're dealing with money problems, what does it create? Anxiety, or it creates depression. You're dealing with uh, relationship issues, what does it end up creating? Anxiety, or maybe depression, or maybe both. You're dealing with health issues, what does it create? Anxiety, or maybe depression. And so, yes, we could say, oh, I'm gonna solve your health problems. Yes, I'm gonna solve your money problems. But that's not the problem we're looking to have solved. We're looking to have our anxiety or our depression solved. So you're providing a service that is eliminating anxiety or depression. Now, people may not know that. They're not walking into your business going, I have an anxiety issue and I think if I buy your product, it'll take away my anxiety. They're not saying, oh, I have a depression issue and I think if I buy your product, it'll take away my depression. Most people are just going, I'm hungry, I would like a sandwich, thank you. However, you ever heard of hangry? When people get hungry, they get angry. Why do they get angry? That doesn't make any sense. Oh wait, because they have an anxiety situation where they're hungry and they don't know when they're going to get their next meal and so they start getting frustrated with the current situation because they can't solve their problem that they need in the future. And so it just creates this hangry situation. So, and it's an anxiety issue. So here's what you're trying to do. As a business owner, you need to create a process that addresses all the conflict points inside your business in the customer journey that are going to create some form of anxiety or depression. Oh, the kid didn't move up on the level. They feel really terrible. How are you gonna handle that? Oh, a kid's stuck in a level for 37 years and they, they're getting bored. How are you gonna handle that? Oh, the instructor is playing favorites with students in their classes. How are you going to handle that? Oh, a parent is trying to tell you how you should run your business. How are you gonna handle that? Because if people start telling you how to do things and it creates a sense of anxiety, and you don't have a solution for that, then you're gonna become a servant to that, that anxiety and you're gonna start serving it instead of running your business. Now, there's two customers in every business. Two. You have the customer who's paying you money and you have the employee who you're paying money to. All right, so in theory you can say you're the customer because you're paying the employee money. However, the employee is a customer because what you're trying to do with your business is eliminate anxiety for the employee so your business is a rock solid place to be. You're trying to create rock stars. So you want a business that has no conflict points that are misunderstood or not understood to how to deal with and you're like, I can hire an employee, here's my conflict, I know exactly how to solve the conflict. Employee, I can train you up in how to solve this conflict. Hey, guess what? There's no anxiety on the job because I've given you all the tools necessary to master your craft. That's dope. That's what people want. They want to go work for a business that understands their service or product so well that the business has addressed every conflict point and has come up with a solution for every point of conflict to eliminate the anxiety in the customer and eliminate the anxiety in the employee. That's what you should be pursuing after. Now, how you go about that, 
that's in another video. That's going to take a lot of time, but I'd love to hear your comments and your thoughts below and let me know what conflict points you're struggling with and then I can make videos that answer how you should go about solving that in my perspective and what I would do in order to eliminate the anxiety or the depression that's coming from those conflict points. You guys have a great day. Bye.